Hello everyone. Welcome to the third installment on the mini-series on how to restore a Smith's heater. What you're looking at here is the heater matrix from inside the heater box. Um, I was rummaging through my small supply of spray cans and I found some silver, very high temperature paint. This is actually brake caliber paint, but it serves the same purpose. And I've blown over the two end tanks on this matrix. Now, I know this is hidden from view, so no one's actually gonna see this, but I think it's a nice touch, it tidies it all up. And the little intake and output pipes will be visible through the front casing, and they'll be seen. So, just a little, tidy touch. Over here then, I'm sort of not seeing that well, but one, two, three, four, five. Now these are the clips holding the front casing to the main body of the heater. And here is the main body of the heater. I've literally just put the final coat on this. What I've actually gone for is satin black. Um, now you'll remember in the, the last video it was gloss, but I've changed my mind gone for satin. Now I know satin isn't technically correct for my year of MG. It was only really correct for the Mark 1s but I wasn't really happy with the gloss finish. I think satin looks really smart so we're going with satin. All I need to do is do a quick blow around inside the housing, tidy it up. The outside is well finished. This has been sanded between coats. Really happy with a smooth finish. Nicely detailed. You can see the little spot wells and all that have come up really really nicely bit of a difference since you saw it in the last video. Um, I know that looks glossy but trust me <laughs> it'll be satin. Over here then I had to flat off the glossy finish um, put satin on so this has come really nicely the Smiths pressing nice and clear got some nice open grommets there and there which will tidy it up add to the insulation this is the aperture for the motor so really making some progress. I hope to have this finished this week. Another thing to show you, nice big block of foam. Fire retardant foam from the local poultry shop. The gentleman proprietor very kindly donated that to me for free. So I'm gonna cut it up and make little replacement strips for these, which I think I've seen better days, you'll agree. Those will pack in around the matrix, add a bit of, take away the vibrations, add a bit of insulation, both for sound and heat. And then the valve here is going to get tidied up. And then one last thing is to give the heater a bit, or the heater motor, sorry, a bit of a sand down and a quick paint, and maybe take the top cover off and drop a little bit of oil or some other lubricant in there because it squeals about when it's on the side which is unfortunate because that's the angle it operates at. So really making some progress, almost finished. This will be nice to get a nice shiny component sitting ready to go back into the MG. Not the most salubrious paint booth but in between the MG and the Land Rover but I'm doing my best not to get over spray in either of the vehicles. So all being well, next video it'll all be finished and you'll be able to see the final results. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, which should be on your screen right now. Any questions, get in touch. Thank you.